Today, as we come to the table of remembrance, I want to think of a couple of thoughts here from um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, um, verse 23 and 24. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who will also do it. Now this um, table of remembrance can also be thought of as a table of preservation. You know, this is, they didn't know the night that they did it, the, the, the 12 disciples sitting around that table. They thought it was just like any other Passover. And would, why would they think any different? Jesus was with them. But see, there was something else going on there. They, they were going to be preserved from things they didn't even know. But see, the, the remembrance of the Lord, to be able to remember what God has accomplished in the person of Christ Jesus will preserve you. See, it, it, it doesn't just preserve part of you. It preserves all of you. Your whole person needs to be preserved. And see, this table has been specifically designed to do just that. The remembrance of Jesus. When you start looking into Jesus, that's a well that has no, there's no depth to that well. It's just, it, you can go down as far as deep as you want and get cold, purified water from this well. Remembering Jesus. This remembrance, see, there, there's some things that, that are going to occur, whether or not we're ready for them or not. We're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ to give an account for the deeds done in the body. Now, this table will preserve you to that end. It'll, it'll prepare you to meet your God. And it has to be done. But see, this, ta this table's designed. It's designed to assist you in your change. There's some things that have to be left aside. How are you going to determine those things? You remember him. You set your mind. You set your focus on him. See, that really is the resolution to our, our dilemma. Is as you see him as he is, you are changed into the same image from glory to glory. But see, you, this is not done independent from him. And, of course, this is his table. This is a, a time, see, when we focus, when you see Jesus, it accomplishes the purpose of God for you. You know, which, try to nail that down. Try to... Write that down in a paragraph. What is? It's to know him. Whom to know is life eternal. You want to live forever? You see him as he is and you'll be transformed. Everything you do will be changed when you see him as he is. And, and this table's um, it's for us. See, this, you, you, you fellowship with God through Christ in the spirit and right now. See, it, it, I can see why he put this table here. I, I don't see it all yet, but I'm seeing more and more. He put this table. It, we need to remember Jesus. And see, as him having him as the focus, not only of our focus, but he's the focus of God. God has set him in the midst of the throne of God. Why? Because, see, the, he, God's working an eternal purpose that re absolutely requires <clears throat> us being made perfect and Christ See, bringing, bringing us to the place to where God can inhabit us. Oh, what a large purpose that is to be the habitation of God. Amen. So see, he's, this purpose, this table is set there for a unique purpose that really only those that are in Christ can't even understand why. I've had people ask me, well, why do you think that's important? They don't know God. They don't understand his purpose. And that's why you ask questions like that. Because this is central in the kingdom of God, because it's central in God's purpose to make us more like, to preserve us. We're going to have to be preserved blameless now. And this, this remembering Christ will do that, this accomplished purpose in the end. When you come to this table, there's a lot you've already done. You've already crucified your flesh. You wouldn't come to this table. You wouldn't be able to remember Christ unless to your flesh is it's been dealt with. In other words, you've mortified the deeds of the body, and you come here for fellowship, to know him, to actually communion, you know, it's a two-way thing. Christ is in heaven. He's at the right hand of God, but there's a sense in which as you come and you remember him, you're seated with him in heavenly places. In other words, you're 
where the substance is. You're where the fellowship can take place as you abide in him. Now, God's been merciful in giving us this table. See, this is a great mercy in that he's given us a place that while we're here, we can fellowship with him there. Now, that's you, you, who, what man would have thought of this? But God did. God placed it for a unique purpose. Now, I like this um, in connection to this table. Faithful is he that calleth you who will also do it. Now, here's never going to be a time when you're going to come to this table with the anticipation of fellowshipping with Jesus and gaining, gaining the insight into who he is and appreciating more than appreciating, believing that he's done all things that he's done. He's, he's, see, God's going to make it. He, God's on purpose going to bless you. Gonna, he's faithful that if you'll just seek him out. See, his, God's on the initiative to bless those that are seeking him. Well, I don't know that you can get any closer to seeking Christ than when you're at this table. See, you're... you're Faithful is he. He's never going to come a time where you're going to come to this table and, 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 and God say, no, you can't remember Jesus today. See, it's designed for that very reason, for, you to, for him, to, him to be able to manifest Christ to you and you to be able to enter into the fellowship of what Jesus has accomplished on your behalf. This is um, the table of remembrance. You think of the power that's associated in the scriptures with remembering. And he's given us a table where we can come and we can remember the sacrifice, the purity of the sacrifice, the quality of the sacrifice, and the life, the, the, the fact that you now have life because of what he accomplished for you. It's all here. It's all laid out. And we come and we, we actually we glorify God or we declare his death till he come. And he gave us an opportunity, a way to do that. Let's uh, remember Christ's death again. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the, for the provision that you've given us in this table. We ask, Father, today, Lord, as we remember Christ and remember what he's accomplished, that, Father, you would bless us, you would keep us, Father, and, Father, you would preserve us unto eternal life. In your Son's name, amen.